be very precise while doing this slap slap hey guys what's good what's popping welcome back to my youtube channel i hope y'all are doing super super good so in today's video i thought i'll talk about brushes which are really affordable now if you are someone who's just starting off with makeup and don't know what tools to use i think you clicked on the right video so in today's video we'll be talking about uh, face brushes and eye brushes for beginners or also if you are really interested in makeup i think this video is gonna be really helpful for you so if you are just getting into makeup and just starting to learn makeup i know it can be a little daunting to choose your brushes to choose the right brushes there are so many brushes in the market i know you can get overwhelmed by seeing all of those i think this video is going to help you find or choose your right set of brushes because these are affordable and uh, they've done a pretty good job in uh, doing this look. I've created this look using all of the brushes uh, that I'll be using in this video. So yeah, I hope you get something out of this video. So I'll be talking about these brushes. Uh, I know you can't really see them because they come in this uh, plastic packaging, which obviously I'll be throwing it off. So these are the brushes that I will be talking to you guys about. Uh, these are 10 brushes in a set. I got these from so these retail for 657 rupees originally but I got them for 256 rupees because I grabbed these brushes on some off but you can uh, as well get them for lesser price because Shein always has some or the other offer going on so just pay keen attention to offs. So these are 10 brushes in total. I know they are uh, dirty right now because I obviously used them to do this look in the video. So you get four face brushes and six eye brushes. Let me quickly run you guys through these brushes. So let me tell you something before going into it. So this particular uh, brush is uh, different from the other brushes because the same brush which looks exactly like this brush I'll try to pop up the picture somewhere on the screen so you guys can see so that brush looks exactly similar to this one but I don't know I couldn't find it it's somewhere here I couldn't find it for the video the only difference is that the body is different that's it so I'll quickly run you guys through these brushes so you guys can see them performing in the tutorial further so we have a flat kabuki foundation brush uh, which is used for uh, applying foundation then you have a very nice uh, fluffy powder brush to apply your uh, setting powder or to just dust off your setting powder just apply your compact I think this is my favorite brush out of all the brushes I should say because uh, this is really precise you can apply your cream contour with it or you can try to blend your concealer with it just spot correct so yeah, it's really useful for that. And then you have three blending brushes. Uh, one is like a tapered blending brush because it is kind of pinched from the bottom and flared from the top. And then you have a very nice, precise and small blending brush to blend out the details or just to deposit your eyeshadow. And then we are left with four brushes. I think this brush will be best suited for uh, color correcting underneath your eye or anywhere on your face. And then we have the fan brush, which is really good. Uh, you'll see me talking about this in the video. And then we are left with two brushes. One is like a flat brush and one is a little angled. This one looks something like a eyebrow brush and this is a flat brush. I think this is best suited to like smoke out your lower lash line. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the video now. So I've already moisturized my skin and applied primer so my skin is all prepped for applying makeup so let's get started so I use the Pons super light gel oil free moisturizer to like moisturize my face and then I use the super eligible smoothing primer from sugar cosmetics so let's get started with uh, the foundation so I'll be taking this flat top brush to use for my foundation so for my foundation, I'll be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear uh, Foundation and I'll be mixing it with the Superstay Matte 24 Hour uh, Full Coverage Foundation to get my custom shade. So what I'll be doing is first dotting the foundation or just 
spreading the foundation using my uh, finger across my face so I just like to pat uh, the foundation first using my fingers and then I'll be taking this brush try to blend foundation further Ryan Little <laughs> so far so good I don't see any streakiness or uh, the bristle marks on my skin it blended my foundation very well so I'll be doing the same on my left cheek as well okay I think it pretty much covered my acne scars and everything so let's conceal now I'll be using the LA Girl Pro concealer in the shade medium beige to conceal my uh, under eyes I'll just be drawing the usual triangles I'm not a good artist guys this is not an equilateral triangle so forgive me let's try it another time I think we are doing good. Okay. Now I'll be using this really dense brush to conceal underneath my eye. It just fits in very perfectly underneath my eye very ideal for small faces I feel but also if you want to like a spot conceal so I'll be taking a loose setting powder from sugar cosmetics and I'll just be setting my face I'm gonna take the same concealer brush that I've used to conceal my face now I'm gonna take the sugar compact powder and I'll be using this fluffy powder brush or powder dusting brush whatever you want to call it Ooh, it just fits my face so well so for my contouring I'll first go with the sugars uh, face forward contour stick in the shade fawn first Uh, so I'll be taking the same brush that I used to conceal my face and I'll just try to blend the contour so far so good I don't feel like you know using my beauty blender it's doing a good job I don't feel a pressure to like uh, grab my beauty blender and just blend everything I think this is doing a decent job in blending okay so let's get started with the eye makeup but before starting on with the eye makeup I'll quickly do my eyebrows and be right back because they didn't include an eyebrow brush hey guys I'm back so let's move on with the eye makeup I'll be using this basic eyeshadow palette from eye magic pro cosmetics so I'll be taking this eyeshadow brush that is a little bit pressed from the bottom and a fluffy from the top. I'll be using this brush to do my transition shade. I'll be picking up this brown shade called Truth. I'll just try to deposit that shade right above my crease. transition shade really well I don't have any complaints so I'll be using this dense and small blending brush I'll be picking up the shade called actual or actually sorry I to deposit the color on the outer part of my eye Size, so I'm able to create a V you know like a wing or just like a cat eye sort of an effect so I'll finally be taking this fluffy blending brush to blend all the eyeshadows together and then we'll go ahead with a shimmery shade so I'll be 
taking the shade called Snaked and then try to apply it on top of my lid. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the shade called Actually. I'm taking the same uh, small dense blending brush, just depositing the shade. Let's move on to the lower lash line now. I'll be using this uh, brush, I don't know what to call this, but um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a brow brush, but very dense. So I'll be uh, using Truth. Then I'll be taking Actually with a very, very light hand. For my blush, I'll be taking the color bar Matalicious blush in the shade Fallen Leaves. This is a very natural uh, kind of an everyday sort of a blush. So I think I'll be taking this dense powder brush. Okay, so the last step is obviously highlighter. I'll be taking this uh, highlighting brush. I really love this brush because it is not very flimsy and not very dense it's the right amount of bristles so for my highlighter i'll be taking the master chrome highlighter by maybelline okay now mm -hmm. whoa that's really how i want my highlighter to be Okay, I think we are pretty good till now. I'll quickly pop on some lashes and put on a little bit of lipstick and be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I applied uh, these natural lashes and put on a little bit of uh, lipstick. So yeah, this is how the look turned out to be. I think I really liked it. I really like the way the brushes performed. These brushes have done an amazing job. I think they are definitely value for money. I've used all of the brushes and I really like them. I think they are definitely worth uh, giving a shot. Uh, you get all the brushes, like you get face brushes and also eye brushes. So I think you don't need any other brushes if you are a beginner. I think these brushes are really ideal to do your face and as well eyes because you're starting off with makeup and I think you don't require any other brushes than this for now so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you really enjoyed watching this or you've learned something and if this video is helpful to you if you like my content please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel it would mean the absolute world to me and i'll see you in my next one